Columbia today, a big showcase of technology to help people who live with disabilities. Our Ashley Jones has more on the new products and innovations at the South Carolina Assistive Technology Program. This expo is the largest of its kind in the state of South Carolina. Organizers tell me that crowds continue to grow each year, but this year is extra special as it marks the event's 30th anniversary. I was 20 years old when I broke my neck. Lewis Stevens is a C4 quadriplegic. Dove into two feet of water and broke my neck, but things have worked out. I finished Carolina and I worked with some group, good group of folks at, at Dominion. He says he's been coming to the South Carolina Assistive Technology Expo for 25 years now. It's very helpful with anybody with disabilities or not with a disability that they can see what options are out there for folks with disabilities to use on an everyday basis. For Stevens, the event would have been most helpful when he was first injured at a young age. It's very good for the, for the younger folks to see this because when I was injured 42 years ago, there was nothing like this. It, it kind of just brings awareness, but also people walk away with, okay, this is what I can do with this technology, or this is who I can help. Rochelle Johnson is the program manager for the South Carolina Assistive Technology Program. She says this technology is used to improve the daily living of someone with a disability. So it's really important for our state to bring awareness to what assistive technology is. You never know um, when you, you might need it. We all use it in our day-to-day -day lives, but there's some people who actually need it to go to work, to go to school, and to live their daily life. So it's really important for our state to to bring awareness to what assistive technology is. You never know um, when you, you might need it. We all use it in our day-to-day -day lives, but there's some people who actually need it to go to work, to go to school, and to live their daily life. The expo featured solutions for vision, mobility, and communication. Johnson estimates around 900 attendees this year, but she's hoping to turn it into more than just a one-day event in the future. Reporting here in Columbia, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10.